Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. We must discuss the current state of AMC stock and the broader market conditions. Obviously, we did not receive word of the court ruling that was hoped to take place today. That did not happen. Therefore, we are still awaiting its arrival, which could occur at any moment. Thus, the majority could arrive at any time. Now in the interim, how do the data look? What is happening with the stock? Let's discuss it here in this video. Select the like option. Subscribe to the channel and post any comments, queries, or concerns in the section below. First things first, then. Important to note, Tesla and Netflix actually had excellent earnings, but today's stock market decline is primarily due to the recent rise in prices, and this has put the markets in a gloomy mood today. The Nasdaq is 1.5% lower. The Russell is down 1% while the S&P is down approximately 0.5%. Nonetheless, your Dow equities are performing well today, up about 1%. Today, it appears that everything that is remotely costly or has a remotely higher valuation outside of the medical or healthcare fields is declining. Consequently, AMC stock is not being spared the rod here, and it has fallen nearly 2% so far today. Now, this is a minuscule action. This is evidently nothing to be concerned about. Nothing matters until we receive this court's ruling. Indeed, this is the ultimate conclusion. We both know that this is the only thing that matters. And ultimately, when that court decision arrives, you will witness the mother of all brief squeezes, in my opinion. Simple, 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 simple logic here. Right. Everyone is wagering negatively on AMC, despite the fact that this is a very bullish catalyst. Riley Securities is the lone analyst who believes that this is a favorable catalyst, as well as the lone individual. Eric Witt, that is all. Everyone else considers this to be extremely negative. You should be fully competent in AMC, and I merely believe that to be flawed reasoning. At this time, it appears that audiences will flock to theaters to witness Barbie Heimer, which is essentially the primary plot at this point. Now, the underlying argument for why this capital raise is positive is that AMC is no longer losing $2, $3, or $4 million per quarter. They lose $50 million per quarter. Right. And the majority of the additional loss is due to interest. Thus, AMC's business is significantly stronger than it was previously. Therefore, AMC will raise billions of dollars in capital, which will no longer be consumed by the company's quarterly losses. This is an enormous positive for AMC stock, and this is the ultimate reason why this event will have the greatest impact on the market psyche. When you have months to prepare for a negative event, and essentially months for the markets to price it in, you typically experience the majority of the negative news in the stock price leading up to the event, not necessarily after. So to make a lengthy story short, we're hoping to receive this court's ruling within the next few days. When this occurs, you should anticipate or at least I anticipate, a brief compression. Now, an additional factor that hedge funds and institutions did not anticipate is the length of time this has transpired. Why that is a problem is because it would not be a problem on any other typical stock. But with AMC and borrowing fees exceeding 1,000%, this rapidly becomes a significant issue, considering the expense. The cost bar average is 969.71%, the cost bar maximum is 1,040%, and the cost bar minimum is 856.16%. Interactive Brokers has a cost bar fee of 943.2% at present. Earlier today, roughly an hour ago, the rate was 1,050%. Consequently, a significant issue exists behind the scenes with the cost of bar fees, hedge funds, and institutions, and they are suffering from this commerce. Just. Doesn't it feel like it will never end at this point? If you're confident in this trade, you're undoubtedly more frustrated than you and I, because it's practically impossible to make a profit with these cost-to-borrow fees. Currently, the live short interest of the free float is 28%, and there are 144 million shares sold short. If apes own the majority of AMC stock, then you have a 100%, maybe even a 200% short interest, which is much higher than 28%. I've said this in many other videos, and I'll repeat it again. If apes own the majority of AMC stock, then you have a 100%, maybe even a 200% short interest, 
which is much higher than 28%. All things considered, 28% is by far the highest level we've ever reached in this trade. AMC currently has short positions worth $632.56 million, resulting in a short score of 96. There are presently 178.15 million shares out on loan at a free flow rate of 34.5%, with 10.32 days to cover. Never before has AMC aired days to cover at 10.32 am. This has increased by 96.3% over the past three months. Things have become. Recent months have been exponentially improved for us in terms of a potential short squeeze. The AMC stock price has never been so low, and this is ultimately an enormous massive positive. Just this catalyst, which is ultimately the court's decision, is required for the stock to reach the next level. Now, as I'd have mentioned, particularly in the previous video, the option activity suggests an imminent court announcement. Consider this order we are observing here today, which expires tomorrow, a $10 put for $17.25 million. You are observing a ridiculous transaction. Someone is essentially wagering that AMC stock will drop like a boulder tomorrow. This is highly suggestive of what they believe will be a negative catalyst in the future, namely that court ruling. Therefore, this information option activity has a 0% positive order value. Again, significant earnings reports were released today from Netflix and Tesla, and they were all negative. Even though it appears we're approaching a gentle landing, the current economic data is not encouraging. June home sales slowed to their lowest level in 14 years, as a lack of available inventory chokes the market. As a result, things are essentially slowing down across the board which is not exactly what you want to see as the markets approach all-time highs. Nevertheless, it is evident that the earnings of Tesla and Netflix dampen the markets, particularly those of the major technology companies. As a result, there is a great deal of uncertainty surrounding those earnings as well. Discover's earnings were extremely negative yesterday, as was TSMC's. None of these companies had particularly positive earnings. Capital One, CSX, PPG, Berkeley Bank, Bank of Ozark, First Financial Bank, Ameren, Associated Bank, Knight, and Swift Bank will be available today after hours. Therefore, more institutions will arrive here after hours. Capital One is undoubtedly one to keep an eye on, as Discover stock fell 16%. Today, I made a trade that could yield approximately $20,000 if Capital One declines to the same extent as Discover. Consequently, we will observe the ultimate outcome of this transaction. If you want to trade with me live in real time every single day, click the link in the video's description. Now, let's examine briefly the technicals of AMC stock. Guys, the May CD is in positive territory, the RSI is at 43.36, and AMC stock was $4.28 at the time this video was recorded. Therefore, None of this ultimately matters until we receive the court's decision. The majority of things will move in a horizontal direction. Once you receive the court's decision, the real action will begin, in my opinion, gentlemen. This concludes the content of this video. Click the like icon. Subscribe to the channel and post any comments, queries, or concerns in the section below. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.